Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Sunday, and that means that we are using Quillops or Quillops. Or blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't care about pronouncing this freaking next name right. Alright. So, this one's gonna have to pro it's probably gonna be a quick one because I'm fairly busy. And I mean fairly busy. I got a ton of crap to do today when it comes to just recording videos. This is actually recording the day of, so it's Sunday. I'm recording this on Sunday, so... I gotta quickly just go ahead and do this. So I apologize if this one's short. But I've been just doing a lot of recording of Dragon Ball Z League and I'm behind on just recording for Monday and I still got our things to record for Sunday and I still gotta record some more Shovel Knight. Just got a ton of things to do, so I'm super busy. But of course I gotta give set aside enough time to record daily duels so you guys so you guys can get your daily duels. So, uh, another thing that made me super busy on uh, and not caught up is because I actually went down to my locals again. And I know you guys, I saw you guys comments, oh, you're local, super easy, Daniel, super easy. Yeah, it, that, that, yeah, it is. And then I definitely realized this time, so it's another locals report, so yay, locals report. But it's, uh, it's a really quick, short, and easy one. Easy one. So, uh, once again, my friend Ryan decided to go ahead and, uh, pick me up, and we decided to go ahead down locals, so... Uh, you know, the guy who had the Evil Storm deck, you've seen him a couple of times in a lot of my videos lately. Um, uh, actually, uh, the live video that you're going to be seeing is me doing against him, so, look forward to that, but... I got another tool, alright, well... I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, activate tool. So, who do I want? You're nine, right? So I'll probably put disc. Yeah, I'll put disc in the in the zone. I'll go ahead and pay my 800, of course. Then I'll probably pendulum summon tribute for Caius and banish his Yaksha, because I know he really wants that Yaksha. So how about no? All right. Well, uh, I really don't care who I get. I mean, I have uh, Archive, which bounces a card, right? So I'll probably get Genome. Yeah, give me Genome. So I can go ahead and Pendulum Summon Genome. And then pop his back row while also attributing for uh, Caius. It's not a circle. It's clearly not a circle. Uh... Yeah, you too. So, who do I want to tribute? Uh, yeah, I want to tribute Genome. Finish that. Yes. Pop that. So, let me get started. Alright, so we go down there. Uh, you know, me, Ryan, I also took my friend Rennie. You've probably seen him in a couple videos as well. If not, he'll be in more. And, uh... Uh, Ryan's girlfriend, she goes down there as well. So we head down there, locals, and uh, when we get down there, they're like, oh, we are having a magic tournament, because the card shop does other things. So, that's, I, that's fine, that's fine, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> like, oh my god, you destroyed my Caius. Oh, tear? No, I don't care. That's fine. So, instead of, you know, a big tournament, they're like, oh, small little tournament, only 16 people, 16 people tournament, that's it. I'm like, okay, fun. Sign up. We all sign up, except for Rennie. Rennie didn't sign up. He, he said it wasn't worth it. Ooh, Rennie, too, too pro. He said, not worth 16 tournament, uh, people tournament. So, me, Ryan, and uh, Ryan's girlfriend go ahead and enter. Okay, so, that's fine. It's totally fine. Damage is done. So if I skill drain, I'll go back up to 27. Yeah, I'll go to 27. You got anything else to do besides the blaster pop or what? Or was that it? Really anticlimactic. So yeah, me, Ryan, and Ryan's girlfriend decided to enter. She's also playing Constellars if you want to call it that, and I had to 
take our deck and look through it and fix a lot of that crap because a lot of it was just wrong. So, uh, <laughs> so I ended up just taking a couple cards from my, uh, he quit. Okay, well, we can go ahead and get another door. I guess he's like, oh, he's just got so many shit back, so what's the point? Skull loss for you. Be right back. All right, back. So, yeah, I have to take some of my own cards out of my own binder to help her fix her deck. And her boyfriend, her boyfriend, he was dropping the ball. Like, oh my god, like, he, had, he, he, he probably gets the world, world's worst boyfriend award for that. So, pretty much, he shows up, when, when I was helping her fix her deck, I was like, well, you just search this with this, this with this, this with this. And I gave her some, I let her use some lances, break through skills, stuff like that. Uh, then, when he, I, she took the deck over to me, like, oh, this look at the changes that Daniel made. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's nice. Go ahead and play this. Might as well, this is awesome, let me draw two cards, more pen, more, more pendulum, more quillops. Why not? Alright, that's fine, can't draw, don't care. Alright, go ahead and put you in the zone. You want MST, go right ahead, I do not care. I have other, I have others. Oh, you just want to draw? Oh, is this some kind of Exodia deck? So far, it seems like you're just trying to draw, so... I guess, memo to myself, jump the shit out of my opponent. Because that's what seems like the best try now. I already have, uh, Archive, so I would like a you know. So I will go ahead and put. I need a one. There's a one. Disc is a one. And I'll go ahead and just special summon everybody. You'll probably be able to block my attack with something, like Swift Scarecrow or something. Nope. Not answering the door. Nope. I know you got it. So Scarecrow, Battle Fader. Wow, you took that on the chin. You have something. You clearly have something. If you you have to have something. Look at that look at that waiting there. Waiting, 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 waiting. You have something. Just play it. I don't know why you didn't play it on the first attack. Now you play so Scarecrow? Alright. Alright. Now you play so Scarecrow. I guess you want to take a little bit of damage to the chin so you can activate your, uh, what was it, Hope for Escape? Is that what it's called? That, that trap card? I know that's what you want to activate. So you can, like, oh, my life points are lower, so I get to draw on this many cards, so I can draw into Exodia! <gasps> Holy fuck, it's like I didn't even know what the hell you were planning. Because uh... you need your Exodia. Exodia too strong, Exodia too pro. Um, let me just continue. So, uh, pretty much, he was looking through the deck and he was like, Daniel, what the heck, man? There's only, uh, uh, 39 cards in this deck, like, what do you mean? All I did was just take cards out of her sleeve and put cards into her sleeve. I didn't touch any of her sleeve. He's like, oh my god, I left one of the sleeves at home. So, she only had a 39 card deck and pretty much had to replace her sleeves. Alright, so he's pretty much just trying to go fucking first turn Quasar. Definitely. He really doesn't have the light points to be playing Soul Charge, so I guess I hope that he has, uh, uh, rekindling. Magical stone again. Okay. Get the upstart again. You know you're slowly negging yourself. You had a nice full hand and now look at you. Okay, the damage is done. You got one card in hand. You better hope that's something to block me or you're fucked. The damage is fucking done. I could put this back in the pendulum zone if I wanted to. You better hope that's something to block or is that game? That's so Scarecrow Battle Fader. Alright. You get one more turn. One more turn. Before I kick that ass. So, she had to pretty much exchange all her sleeves. And, uh, 
pretty much she put her deck in new sleeves and uh, the tournament started. There was only 16, well, actually there was only 15 people because we couldn't even get the 16 person to enter. Renny was like, no, I don't want to enter, it's not worth it. Like, okay, fine. Another battle fader. Alright, well this isn't getting annoying already. Keeps on top decking the shit to block me. No, it's fine. Annoying, but fine. And then you quit! Yay! Two pro, GG! Get another duel in. Right back. Alright. Oh. Alright, there we go. Seems like every single time someone just barely jumps in before I do. Anyway. This is another thing I'm trying out. Forbidden Chalice. It works. It works. And I can use it to engage my opponent's monster effects, and then I can also use it to turn my Quillop's attack back to its original attack. So not bad. Not bad. You know what the suck thing is? I don't have any other Quillops right now. That's the suck thing right now. Like, the struggle is fucking real. No other Quillops in my hand. I didn't draw any other Quillops. So I have to hope that Tool survives. Use Tool, search for another Quillop, put the disc in, play it, summon that one Quillop, and then tribute it for a Monarch. That's as best as I got right now. Chalice is good. It negates effects and it returns your attack to the original with the Quillop, so it's like a double-edged sword. It's like having another skill drain. Uh, so, only 15 people enter. Yep. Wow. Alright, well, I'm pretty much out of this duel right now. Like, oh my god. This deck has one fatal weakness. It's just fucking Tool. Like, you hit Tool and it's a fucking over. I swear to god with this deck. And I got, now I got two ones. Now I got fucking two ones. Oh, I can always normal summon. I can always normal summon. At least I'll go to an 18 beater at least. Compulse. Sure. You wanna use your one compulse just to return something I could just normal summon next turn? Fine, go ahead. Oh, that's what you wanted to do. Oh, you probably got it. You can go for freaking double beals with that play. Yeah, you got it. You got it. My hand's not good enough to face that shit down. Yeah, you got it. I'll go ahead and get another duel in. Right back. Alright. Back. So let me go ahead and just start talking. So, yeah, there's only 15 people entered, and I've sat there bored for a cool minute. I definitely wanted to duel. Yay, Supply Squad. It's already irritating already. Let's go ahead and put Tool. At least I got another Tool. You know, summoners are like, where's Summoners are? I haven't seen that card in a cool minute now. You're a 9, so I need a 1 on your disc. Go ahead and slap disc in the zone. Actually, I should have just slapped in the him, but it really do it really doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and just summon shell, and then we'll just go ahead and tribute the shell for Caius. Caius will go ahead and banish the diamond dude. Actually, I should have banished the supplies. Wow, fuck! I fucked up. Doesn't matter. I don't care. I fucked up twice. I should have put you in the pendulum zone, and I said you you on that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so only 15 people until the tournament starts, and after waiting like a cool minute before the tournament to start, guess who gets the body on the first round? Yay me! I don't get to duel anybody. Ah, <sighs> no, that's fine. Take off. Usually I like to use it for the class, but if I can go ahead and negate you. You get a 400 attack increase, right? You like that? That's cool. Hmm? I, I think that's pretty good. I think, that, I think that's pretty good. Uh... Yeah, go ahead and give me desk. Both of them. Yep. 
different desk. Desk can get his effect to go ahead and summon me two Quilloffs, which is awesome. A one. And two. I'm tired of saying the proper name. This should be game. Yep, that's game. Alright, well let me hurry up and wrap this up. I'm not gonna do another duel. Duels distract me, so I'm just gonna wrap this up. So I get to buy in and round one. And uh Ryan's girlfriend, you know, she's in Castellers. Guess what she doesn't have? Yep, she doesn't have a fucking extra deck because Ryan forgot it. Good job. So Castellers without an extra deck, so I guess you're not going to plead. So for round one, while I'm sitting out, I go ahead and let her borrow my extra deck. So she borrows my extra deck and she duels against um, Dark World and loses. Ryan duels against his teammate, uh, Josh, and Ryan wins. And I get the buy, of course. And, uh,. That's it, that's round one. Round two, uh, she gives my extra deck back. And uh, this is where some controversy starts popping up. So, uh, we before, in between rounds, between round one and round two, we're trying to jimmy her a extra deck. So I was like, well, I have three Pleades. I can drop it down to two, so you can run a Pleades at least. And then we just start, you know, pitching it. Oh, here's an Omega, here's 101, here's, well, not here's 101, but here's like, uh, Paladin Domino, this, this, this. And she gets the, a jimmy together extra deck, you know, good enough. And she takes that for the rest of the tournament. So round two starts. Round two, I duel against some kind of gravekeeper deck that was trying to burn me. So he was using that one card that when like a monster is sent to the graveyard, you take when a monster monsters is sent to the graveyard, you take 300. So pretty much, I was like, okay, well, I had like focus oh, in the duel. I was like, okay, make a please bounce this monster, bounce this monster, attack, attack, attack. And then later in the duel, I was like, I was like, I was like, okay, sombre banish summon cost five five. And I was like, overlay in two, and I look at the extra deck, and I'm like, where the hell is my second Pleiades? Like, what the fuck? I'm missing a Pleiades. So, I couldn't find my fucking Pleiades. I have no idea where it's at. So, like, fuck it, worried about it later. So I was like, well, I already committed to the five, so I go into Volcasaurus, despite Volcasaurus having nothing to destroy. Absolutely nothing. There's nothing faced up. I was going against Gravekeepers. Obviously, something was set. So I was like, I was like, attack with them, seven, tag, tag, tag. You know, he sets the mirror force, I attack, and he mirror forces me, which is fine, I was up on resources anyway. And then, he tried to say that I took 300 for Monster Detroit and the XC materials. I'm like, no, 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 they're sent simultaneously, I take 300. You go, oh, 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 arguing with me, I'm like, no, 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 no. That's why I have the parenthesis S. They're sent simultaneously, I only take 300. So, duel continues, and pretty much, uh, I wish at that point I had Diamond Dire on extra deck because I didn't, so he had one set card. I was like, I would definitely go negative, pop that face down. Didn't matter, I was like, fuck, I don't have it. So I was like, attack, killed it, it was just Recruiter attacking directly, it was game. Game two, uh, I pretty much do the same thing and pretty much just kick his butt. Like, game two was such a blur and it happened so quickly that I just kind of just kicked his butt. So I ended up 2 0 him. So now I'm 2 0 in this small little tournament of noobness, I know. Um,. I think Ryan duels against a burn deck and he wins and Ryan's girlfriend uh what the hell did she duel against I think she dueled against some kind of six samurai six samurai ninja deck and loses <sighs> probably should have taught her how to use constellers because she really doesn't know how to do it I try to make it as basic as possible you know it's nothing too complicated but whatever all right so round three Round three, I duel against heroes. I know, surprisingly, I actually duel against heroes, so. Uh, game one, you know, Pleades is a butt, you know? Definitely Pleades is a butt. Kept on artifacting him and stuff like that, bouncing his cards back. Uh, in the game, he, he exceeds some. I Pleades on field. He exceeds some into that one knight that has 2400 there when you destroy your attack and he gains 500. I forgot his name because it's not even that good. Why well, still Pleades on the field? And then he Miracle Fuses the absolute zero, so he takes the absolute zero and tries to attack my Pleiades. I'm like, please effect on your monster, and then we Kamikaze. He's like, Kamikaze? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, I thought Pleiades was 24. I'm like, Pleiades has always been 25. What? What? Where, what, what? No. Pleiades has always been 25. So, I out-resource him. I win game one, and I game win game two. Don't even side against him, because it wasn't even worth it, you know. And uh, Ryan duels against uh, Gladiator Beast, and he wins with 2-1. Uh, and, um, uh, teammate Josh, he duels against Her Her Herodix, and 
he was using a uh, light swarm ruler and that duel took forever like for both being aggressive decks it took forever but uh josh went out and uh, that was it for round three i think his ryan's girlfriend duel against something i don't even know i don't care all right round four this is pretty much the last round since there's only 16 people we weren't gonna do top eight aren't gonna do anything just whoever has the best record i duel against ryan again every single time i duel against ryan last look report i duel against ryan the live video that you will be getting uh, sooner or later, I'll be doing against Ryan. <laughs> so, lots of duels against Ryan. And, um, he was my ride. I 2 owe him. <laughs> I 2 owe his ass. Like, first game, I just pretty much just out resourced him. Every single time he tried to summon uh, Kirkion, use effect that Fiendish. I think in our, in our duel, both rounds, I think I Fiendish Chain Kirkion like five times. Like, he's like, Kirkion, I'm like, Fiendish Chain. Kirkion, Fiendish Chain. Kirkion, Fiendish Chain. One of the duels, he was like, he top decked, and he was like, summon Kirky, and I'm like, bottomless, and he was like, lamp, I mean, infestation, I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I didn't set the Phoenix Chain, because I didn't think about doing it, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. And I could have Phoenix Chain on what he made, but I don't, um, did he make the Sea Monster? I think he did, I think he made a 101 to take my 101, but it still came back. Um, so I actually won. And then game two, game two, he, uh... What's he doing? I think he like summons a man a mandragora and then sets four background. I'm like, okay. Well might as well go for it. So I'm like summon Algai. He's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Summon Algai. And he's like, oh it's fun. Make an exiton. I was like, exiton effect. He's like he's like flipped up uh uh lightning person mirror. I'm like chain uh ignition. He's like, really? Mm -hmm. So pretty much wipe his entire field. He has no cards left. And I just pretty much out resource him and win, so I two own. While his girlfriend was sitting right there watching. She thought I was an asshole. <laughs> like, well, because I won the duel, I'm the asshole? Like, I guess. She's like, yeah, you beat my boyfriend, so you're an asshole. So, that was pretty much it. That was the end of the tournament. I know, really noob. Really easy. I know. Shut up. So, that's the end of the tournament. So, first place is me. I get, uh, a Astral Pack 4 in Dragons of Legend pack. Uh, second place is Ryan. He gets, uh, Astral Pack. And third place was Josh. He gets Astral Pack. And then some other guy was fourth place, so he gets Pack 2. So, that's what you'll be seeing for the live video tomorrow, is us opening what we won. But that, that was pretty much it. Pretty, just a pretty easy tournament of just winning. <laughs> so, I'm still working on my deck, and uh, it's, it's, it's coming together, it's looking nice, so... Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do well with it again in the future. Alright, so, that's pretty much the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I still got a lot of recording and stuff to do, so thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Lining up with Lunar using Madoches. Thanks for watching.